Good morning. It is the 25th of November. It is freezing cold. And it is day 32 on our van conversion. Today we're continuing with the kitchen unit. I think it's possibly part three or four. Part three or four? Probably three, I think, by three now. Yeah, it's taking its time again. As we said before, we aren't planning this. We're kind of going with it. Our carpentry skills are coming along nicely. Yeah. The basic idea that we want to complete today is to install a shelf about halfway up in this side of the unit here. Obviously this side is going to be reserved for the gas and the water tank, but this side is going to be pots and pans, all little odds and ends. So put a shelf about here and that should suffice, I would say. And hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll start to clad the sides as well and maybe even start building the doors. So for the rest of today anyway, we're going to cut out a square piece of ply, uh, the same ply we've used for the top piece here, and then all we have to do is basically measure out the corners and cut those away with the jigsaw and hopefully it will almost slot into one piece. Um, how do we fit it? We'll have to put it through on an angle to get it in. I don't know, I just started thinking about that. Because that is glued. That is glued in place. <laughs> mm. Or we do it in two halves. We'll figure it out. I don't want it in two halves though. It'll be fine, don't panic. We're basically making a same kind of shelf like this that stretches out the back, which gives us the most storage space, which it's going to sit over the wheel arch. Yeah, there's a, probably another 10 inches or so um, because of the way the van I curves. Think your 10 inches a bit uh, out, <laughs> but... Uh... Pretty much. <laughs> okay. All right, 10 <clears throat> inches then? No, it's not quite. <laughs> you don't want to have the shelf in two bits because it'll just... That one was mine. <laughs> you stop thinking. I just want to drink tea, but I'm cold. <laughs> Yours is over there, it's freezing. Right, anyway, things are going well so far. I think it's time to crack out the jigsaw and get this shelf in position. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> So, I knew you were going to say so. It's always the same. It's always the same with you. As you can see, we've got it to fit. We've had to do a little bit of working out how much we've got to trim off to make it fit nice and tight against the wheel arch. Yeah, I think the next thing now is to divide it all off just so the compartments are self-contained and we don't have things flying about. Yeah, especially with the gas, with the regulator, I can have, I can, uh, I've got visions of things knocking it over. Yeah. Damaging it. Now, let's make the dividers. Yeah, and start thinking about how to make it more, <laughs> do roll your eyes. And we're gonna to need to start thinking a bit more in advance about how to make it look more pretty. Let's quack on. Three, two, one. Welcome back. You join us on another freezing cold Wednesday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> this is how far we got last time. Uh, last time being, to be fair, a couple of days ago. Next task is cladding this side. Uh, we've boxed off this little bit at the bottom because uh, it's going to butt up to the bed and separate the bottom cupboard of the bed too. So it's not going to be on show. So light plywood for that bit. The basic idea, we've got plenty of uh, slats from the pallets left and what we're going to do is attach them thusly and once we've decided which order they look best in, uh, obviously we need to sand them and wax them as we did with the previous ones, but basically we're going to attach them on and then that side there where, where Megan stood is the side that goes against the side of the van so we'll have to sort of scribe that to the shape to get a nice close fit. 
The first stage of this process is to make them look a bit more attractive and select the best looking ones we've got. Maybe remove any excess nails that we missed the first time round and then just get to it. I know at the minute it looks very basic, but all the basic ply, as Meg said, will be hidden anyway. So this stuff will be on show. It's going to add a little bit of weight, but the, the whole unit isn't too bad at the moment. So that's about where we're at. Kablamo! This is the first side, successfully finished, pretty much. Yeah, we've had to do a bit of sculpt into the wall, which a little bit of time kind of works for us. We've kind of jigsawed the corner out and then slowly um, given it a bit of a curve with the sander. Now I think we're going to start tackling the drawers. One thing we did forget, but it's not really a big problem, we've forgotten to wax this piece. We've left all the bits and pieces for that at home. So what I'm going to do is masking tape off and then do it afterwards. So you'll probably see me do that later on. Same process for the drawers as we've done before. Probably two or three bits of pallet wood. Um, support the strips down the side, maybe staple them together as we did before. We spent at least half an hour last night actually drawing it out and, and thinking about the logistics of it all. Catches, hinges, uh, how it's going to look, where the hinges can actually come from and we want to try and make it look as good as we possibly can. Yeah, I know we said we we're going to go unplanned on this one but I think it got to the point where we thought it was probably for the best, yeah. just to uh, save as any... The shelf didn't work particularly as planned but <laughs> we're happy with it now, it's alright. Yeah. Let's crack on. Measurements. I think I measured it 53, but let's check it again. Right, let's go. Ooh, dusty. Slight change of plan today. We blew a fuse quite literally in the circular saw. So we had to get back to pallet wrecking. We need the wood, don't we? Yeah. So what we've got now is quite a few pieces. Some Meg has painted blue ready. They're ready for sanding and waxing as we did previously to give them a bit more of that aged look. Uh, we've got plenty of wood, different shapes, sizes, colors, like some really nice old grainy, some discolored wood, it just looks really nice. So the cupboard doors will be on next time. All we managed to get done was to cut it out. We've currently got two pieces of wood, but you know, we're getting a bit cold now. November is chilly for doing van conversions. So I think we're gonna call this a day here for this one. Um, as expected, this is gonna be quite a few little videos, I think, to get this finally done and finished, but I'm feeling positive. Join us again next time on Flora and the Novice Explorers and you may see this one slightly more completed than last time. Yep, follow us on Instagram at bw underscore flora. We're getting a little bit more active on there, posting pics from the past. Yeah. <laughs> Not just van related stuff, it's, it's a bit of our traveling, a little bit more photography skills as well from me and my love as well. Well, I don't know about skills, but we give it a go. We're having a bit of fun with that now. So yeah, we're good, I think. Yeah, um, see you next time. Bye.